Privyet, as requested by a fan from Ukraine, I'll be reacting to 10 surprising facts about Ukraine. Let's get into it. We'll be exploring 10 surprising facts about Ukraine. Other than what we've learned about its ongoing conflict with Russia, many people don't know too much about Ukraine. But despite its current conflicts, Ukraine has much to offer. So it looks like there's a lot of like flat land and you can see for miles and miles, not many hills. The country is well known for its beautiful and diverse landscape, well-preserved culture and tradition, its beautiful women, and of course, the disastrous Chernobyl nuclear accident. Welcome back to FTD Facts, I'm Sarah Carvalho and in honor of Ukraine, we bring you this video on 10 surprising facts about Ukraine. All right, starting off at number 10, did you know that it is the largest country in Europe? Now, all right, don't jump down my throat. Okay, so first off, Russia is in Europe and Asia, So, but I looked it up and it's mainly in Asia, like 77% of Russia is in Asia. So yes, Ukraine would be the largest in Europe. Just yet, I know a bunch of you are rushing to type in the comments that it's Russia and that I've gotten my facts wrong. But if we really consider it, Russia lies in both Asia and Europe. Therefore, Ukraine is the biggest country located completely within the borders of Europe. While Ukraine is the biggest country in terms of area in Europe, it is certainly not the biggest in terms of population. With a population of about 43 million, it is less than the population of Germany and France. Now, you may not know this, but Ukraine is home to I seven World Heritage Sites. Now, these seven sites are protected by the UNESCO World Heritage List. They are all... Oh, earlier I so said there's no mountains. Now I see mountains. My bad. So among the best places to visit in Ukraine, six of the centers are cultural heritage sites and one of them is a natural heritage site. These include Kyiv's St. Sophia Cathedral. Ooh, that's a cool looking building. Like the design and everything, the detail. It's very cool and Lviv's historic center, unique wooden churches in the Carpathians and the beach forest that surround them. There are of course more than the ones I just mentioned, but I will let you inquire into the names of the other three heritage sites. Let's talk a little bit about the national costume of Ukraine. Now, Vishvanka is the name of the national costume of- So first off, it's very like, extravagant and colorful and like not much color but it's like red and green and white which I don't know why but the flag is blue and yellow in the last video I learned that the flag represents the blue sky and the yellow was like the grain the wheat that ready to be harvested so We'll get into more detail on the costume of Ukraine, national costume. Of Ukraine that consists of a white shirt made of linen and decorated with floral and ornamental hand sewn embroidery. Ukrainian Vishavanka is distinguished by local embroidery features specific to Ukrainian embroidery and is worn by both men and women. The Vishavanka not only speaks of its Ukrainian origin but also of the particular region in which it was made. So just by examining the embroidery. That's a cool outfit, very beautiful looking. Embroidery, one who is well knowledge about it could find out where in Ukraine a person was from just by the clothes on their back. Now, embroidery is therefore an important craft within Ukraine and different techniques exist to suit local. That looks like a guitar harp combined, which is a pretty cool looking instrument styles with their own particular patterns and colors. All right, up at number seven, it is famously home to many ghost towns. So in case you didn't know, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster happened in northern Ukraine, and this includes the Chernobyl exclusion zone established by the USSR soon after. The this looks really creepy and haunted. Like it is abandoned though, but it looks really creepy. 
the accident in 1986. Within the zones are a number of abandoned towns, most notably Pripyat, that draw interest from all over the world. Tours of the area, including the power plant, are actually available at the risk of the traveler in regards to their exposure to nuclear matter. Tourists can take walks through and around the eerily silent and abandoned ghost towns. In Ooh, you could walk around those ghost towns. They're probably bad because of radiation may still be there. Ooh, this looks like a lot of junk that got left behind during, like, the... Uh, Chernobyl event that happened, natural disaster, not natural, it was like a chemical nuclear disaster. In some instances, visitors have said that some of the areas look as if people just vanished into thin air, leaving everything behind, and that the streets feel as though they are just waiting for life to return to them. Do you fancy a tour? Have you ever heard of the Tunnel of I've seen this on like Instagram. It's like so cool looking. The tunnel with like leaves. Love, I know I certainly Turn had not in. until now. We're transitioning to a more positive tunnel subject matter. So the Tunnel of Love is one of the most photographed places in Ukraine. Visitors travel from around the world to see the famous tunnel running through the small western town of Kleven. Ukraine's Tunnel of Whoa, so that is like spring time or summer and then there's fall and then there's winter wow it's such a cool looking photo love can reportedly trace its origins all the way back to the tensions and secrecy of the cold war this enchanting natural train tunnel is surrounded by green arches formed by trees lining both sides of the single track railway line. Its romantic setting attracts many couples to the place and according to local legends, couples who visit the place will have their wishes granted. Now, Ooh, have their wishes granted, like, no matter what. Did you know that Ukraine is home to the deepest metro station in the world? Yes, the deepest metro station in the world is in Arsenalna Station, located in Kyiv, the capital city of Ukraine. This subway... Look at those steps. It goes way up there. That's deep. It's an escalator, though, which makes it way easier than walking. Station was opened on November 6, 1960, as part of the first stage of the Kyiv Metro built and designed by the Soviet Union. The station is located at a whopping 105.5 meters underground. I wonder how long it. 105.5 meters underground. That's pretty deep. It takes to ride the escalator all the way down. Now, have you ever heard of the kerosene lamp? Well, it was invented in Ukraine. So let me tell you a little bit about it. it. I never knew that. That's very cool. In Lviv in 1853, pharmacist Johann Zek and Ignacy Lukasiewicz invented the first kerosene lamp. As they processed the oil, they were unable to get alcohol from it, but they did find that it released a substance that did not smoke, did not have an unpleasant smell, and burned quite well. This substance is known as kerosene. They had the idea of placing the kerosene in a lamp and the first kerosene lamp was hung at the door of their pharmacy and could replace around 10 candles. Ign That's very cool. Ignacy continued his work on kerosene lamps and in 1854, he opened the first oil mine in the world. Later, he introduced Europe to the very first street lamp and opened an- Wait, Eva. Open the first oil mine in the world? I didn't know Ukraine had the first oil mine. The oil distillery, the world's first industrial oil refinery. All right, and what wow. about the world's largest sunflower seed producer? Again, the Ukraine is the world's largest producer of sunflower seeds. Whoa, that's a lot of sunflowers. That's insane. So also the yellow on the flag could represent sunflowers as well. But it does represent the wheat since Ukraine has a lot of wheat. But sunflowers, Ukraine has the world's largest amount of sunflowers as well. 
followed closely by Russia. The U.S. is the world's 10th largest producer of sunflower seeds, with most being grown in South Dakota and North Dakota. Interestingly, it is estimated that the total size of Ukraine's sunflower farmlands could cover the entire territory of Slovenia. Now, I'm not sure how many nicknames there are for Ukraine, but the breadbasket of Europe seems to be one of them. The vast tracts of arable land in Ukraine with fertile black soil made it an ideal place for growing wheat and other food crops. As such, it was nicknamed the breadbasket of Europe. That's a cool photo, by the way, or video. But yes, Ukraine has the most wheat to make the most bread. Today, Ukraine continues to be one of the largest producers of wheat in the world. And up at number one today, we're going to talk about the heaviest aircraft ever. The A- Oh, sadly, that, I think that's the aircraft that got blown up, sadly, by Russia. Uh, I'm not sure if there's this one, but it looks like it. But let's listen to what she has to say. The N 225 is the heaviest aircraft ever built with a maximum takeoff weight of 710 tons. It holds the record for total airlifted payload of 559,580 pounds, as well as airlifted sink. Or maybe the aircraft that I was talking about is the largest passenger plane. This is the largest, like, he the heaviest aircraft. So maybe I'm confused between the two single item payload at 418,830 pounds. The Antonov AN-225 Maria was built in Kyiv, Ukraine, while it was still a part of the Soviet Union. It also has the largest wingspan of any functional aircraft. That's quite impressive. All right, friends, this brings us to the end of today's video on 10 surprising facts about Ukraine. I hope you enjoyed the video today as much as I did. I have to admit, I myself really didn't know too much about Ukraine before putting this video together for you all, and I was truly surprised to learn each of these new facts. All right, so we're gonna stop it right here. Let's just go back to a cool shot. All right, so, uh, this was a more interesting video than I thought. Thanks for sharing it with me. Um, first off, um, I knew that Ukraine was the biggest in the country of e Europe. The cost national national costume that's pretty cool. Ghost towns. I love ghost towns. Ooh, my favorite right here, the tunnel of love. Like, this is like the beautiful, the, the, I'm speechless just by looking at these photos. I've seen them multiple times online, people have gone there, but wow. And the metro, like, it goes on forever. I wonder how long it actually takes to get to the top and to the bottom. Um, kerosene lamps, some flowers. Ooh, look at this photo or video it was. That's a ton of sunflowers. But this is it. Give this a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And let me know if you want me to react to any other Ukrainian videos. Just leave them down in the comments. They won't get, like, posted. I would have to go through and just approve them since they'll have a link. But just send a link to a video and I'll approve it and react to add it to like my reaction list. So hopefully you have a great rest of your day or night, whatever time it is there. And Slavia Ukraini.